Why do dogs eat rabbit poop? Unraveling the canine instincts and behavior behind it. Dogs are naturally curious creatures, and they're always looking for ways to improve their health. If you've ever seen a dog eating rabbit poop or licking their paws after playing in the yard, you probably know that it's not uncommon for dogs to eat rabbit poop. The reason why dogs eat rabbit poop is that it contains lots of nutrients that can help keep your pet healthy. Rabbit poop is high in protein and fiber, which can help dogs stay fit and trim. It also contains potassium, which helps regulate blood pressure in your pet and strengthens bones and teeth. Some other possible reasons why dog eat rabbit poop. 1. In their natural state, dogs are descended from wolves and are known to scavenge for food. This may include the feces of other animals. The instinctual behavior may still be present in domestic dogs. 2. Rabbit feces also contain undigested nutrients from the rabbit's diet that could be attractive to dogs due to their perception of these foods as potential food sources. Dogs might be attracted to the smell and taste of these feces because they perceive them as a potential food source. 3. Some dogs may eat rabbit poop out of boredom or as a way to alleviate stress. Chewing or licking objects, including feces, can be a self-soothing behavior for dogs. 4. If a dog observes another dog eating rabbit poop, they may imitate this behavior. Dogs often learn by watching and copying the actions of other dogs. 5. The attraction to smell may also be an important reason why dogs choose to eat rabbit poo, they have a highly developed sense of smell and are likely drawn to the scent. While eating rabbit poop is generally not harmful, it's essential to monitor your dog's behavior and consult with a veterinarian if you have concerns. In some cases, excessive consumption of feces, whether from rabbits or other animals, could lead to gastrointestinal issues or the transmission of parasites or diseases. If your dog's poop-eating behavior becomes a problem or is accompanied by other concerning symptoms, it's best to seek professional guidance from a veterinarian to rule out any underlying health issues or dietary deficiencies. Lastly, training and monitoring your dog can help manage this behavior if it's a concern for you as a dog owner. Hope this video helped, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you in the next video.